What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Nev Campbell's recent statements. This is floating around. Uh, I, I will be honest with people, and I, I generally am very honest, but I'll be honest with this situation, too. I, I am getting tired of it, just in terms of, you know, like the Andrew Garfield thing was fun for a while, and, and I, I immediately read right through it, you know, the whole Photoshop thing of him and Spider-Man. At the end of the day, it's like I enjoyed him trying to do his little charade of, oh, I'm not in the movie, but it's like, you clearly are, and then when the trailers start to come out, you're like, well, they're clearly hiding the two. I guess my point is, it's fun for a while, at least to me. It's fun for a while. I will follow it through to the very end. Trust me, I will. But it eventually becomes a little annoying where it's like, all right, I've kind of had enough of like your statements because you're either lying or I guess you're telling the truth, but you say it so many times, you, you, however you want to interpret what I just said. Now, we had Nev a few days ago, uh, maybe it was last weekend, right? Where she was asked in a, a Q&A about, you know, the, if she's coming back and she's like, no, sorry. You know, she, she kind of had like a lighthearted answer and... My response to that was, why well, I, I just think she's lying. I, I find it odd that she didn't really answer the question very long, right? It was a very short amount of time that she answered the question. She had no problem blasting Paramount on social media and even, even telling Master Chaos and telling all these different people at the convention before that she's not in the movie. But then when asked directly in a Q&A stage, after rumor has it she's fine with them and she's back, her answer was a lot more, like, tiptoey. It was a lot more, um, well, I guess tiptoey probably is the only thing, right? Trying to, like, avoid hurting, uh, whether it's Paramount or trying to, like, avoid ruining any secrets. Like, again, what do you expect her to say? Do you expect her to say, well, uh, you know, we worked on a deal and we're good now, so I'm going to be back in Scream 6? Clearly... That's not the plan. That's not the plan to, at least if you believe this, it's not the plan to make people believe she's in the movie. So why in God's name would she ever say it out loud? Do you know what I mean? No, of course there's the other side of that. Uh, absolutely. And I'm not going against any... you. If you want to think she's back, not back. If you don't want to see the movie because you think she's not back, I respect literally any point of view on this. I truly do. I'm one of the rare ones on YouTube. I truly... To stroke my own ego, I truly am. But I get it. I understand it. I feel, in my opinion, she's lying. I feel like she's lying, and I just find it odd that she's taking a different, like, tiptoey approach all of a sudden when she really had no problems doing the opposite a little while ago. All right? Now, she had a, another one at another convention where she talks about how there was a story for Sydney that it's not that way any longer, and then she hopes that they make a good movie. Now, the hope that they make a good movie is something you would have hoped to have had her say back with the, uh, the, the, the money issue a while ago, right? Like, you would have expected that to happen then, and it didn't. So that's a little odd that she puts it now. Again, I, I don't have too many other, like, different uh, approaches or, like, you know, thoughts on it where it's like I just – Again, I think she's lying. I, I, I believe these people ask me. People ask me kind of back and forth or, uh, you know, on random videos and comments. They'll say, well, Alex, you know, just your gut feeling or what do you think? Like, is she back? Yes, I believe she's back. Um, I've, I, at the same time, okay, I've gone through this before with leaks and rumors in terms of games and games, uh, trust me, is all over the place. My approach to these things has always been... If I believe the source at the current moment, I will follow it along, right? I'm not going to, like, get mad at you if you say, oh, well, it's obviously not happening, Alex. Why you believe? Like, it, it, fine, fine. If you don't want to believe it, you don't have to believe it. I will believe it. And if it doesn't happen, I feel like I've been around the game enough, specifically because video games have leaks a lot more, and they're there's more that are right and there's more that are wrong in quantity than any movie okay so like you know i mean, I, I just kind of deal with it where my approach is you know i'm not going to get super super disappointed if the leak i was believing turns out to be false what ends up happening there is i just don't believe the source anymore right so like a critical overlord or a viewer anon like I trust them. A critical overlord, we made videos together. It's like, I think they're good people. Even if they're wrong, I still think they're good people. But I, I'm not going to trust them nearly as much with anything that they say in terms of, you know, sources. That's just, I mean, that's it. It's not mean. It's not aggressive. That's literally just how it is. Now, just to make sure I'm covering all bases, that doesn't mean I won't be disappointed about Nev coming back because ultimately the situation is a little bit different in this case, right? She was going to come back and she, and she didn't. 
So whether, so now I believe the rumor that she is returning and then say, okay, well, the rumor is wrong. She was never returning. Well, again, the, the thing I'm mad about is you have to go all the way back to the beginning. Does that make sense? You have to go to the, back to the beginning of the story. I'm mad that they, ne that they weren't able to bring her back because of money. I won't even spend too much time talking about the rumors. Again, it's very simple. I would not believe the people that start these rumors nearly as much. That's it. That's where it kind of ends. Then I'm going to be disappointed because, not because I got my hopes up and then I got let down. No, not that, because again, like that's happened and that happens all the time uh, and I kind of get used to it. I'm not going to be mad at that. I'm going to be mad at, well, you had a plan for her. And the, by the way, the words that she used, it is kind of confusing because she talks about, you know, she says like there was a story for Sydney and Six. That very much is ambiguous because you can be in an end credit cameo or the last scene in the movie is a cameo and have story purpose for screams does that make sense so her saying that still leaves it up to interpretation if she was going to be a actual part of the film and by that i mean like a gale role like would she have been in 10 15 minutes is that what she means by she had a story purpose in this movie or you can have a story purpose if you're in it for 30 seconds, if you're directly setting up the next movie. That's definitely a story purpose. So which one does she mean? And also, she could be lying, you know, in terms of, uh, I guess she could be lying in terms of she's actually doing it. So she's like, well, there was a story. I was going to be the end cameo scene where I would get a phone call and it would set up the next movie. That was my scene. It was story significant. And now I'm not doing that right if you kind of fill it in say like that's what she could have said unfiltered that could be what she means again though i think she's lying i think that she is she could the only way i think she's also telling the truth is if the original plan was to get her for 10 15 minutes of the movie and that is no longer happening now she is just a cameo but again i i don't i don't know i don't know how that works um things kind of fall apart in terms of like people's theories and stuff and then speculation that's already happened things start to fall apart if you go down that path so it's a little too long to think about right now but you know what i mean that's something that comes up as well where it's like yeah i don't know if you were in it for 15 minutes now you're in it for a cameo factually that is a to me that's a problem just in general like the movie could be good or bad that's a problem that that even happened so we'll see how it goes and again ultimately i i believe she's coming back if she's not back i'm not going to be disappointed that i got myself excited to be let down i'm going to be disappointed that this entire thing happened in the first place right and some people's credibility gets hurt by it that's the risk you run when you're an insider right i cover leaks and rumors i am not the originator of them i'm safe and I like to kind of throw that out there from time to time. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I'll see you all on the next one.